And with one eye on tactics and the other on a rising body count, it's Jamie Castle. Now, Jamie, the American patriots are up against a powerful enemy in the British loyalists. But aren't the Americans officially British too? They're still owned by the British at this point, Jeff, but the government have been hitting them with some outrageous taxes. They can't even buy a decent cup of tea without being taxed. Well, let's hear from a man who loves tea and taxes, the King of England, George III. I make a great effort to get along with all my subjects, but these Americans, they're, they're unhappy, they're misled, and they're deluded. Basically, they're idiots. Right, I mean, you haven't even been to America, though, have you? What's your point? We've got breaking transfer news from 1775. After previously fighting for the British in the Seven Years' War, George Washington has controversially joined the American Patriots. Jamie. It's a high-profile signing by the Patriots, Jeff. Washington's experience could be invaluable. Uh, George, the British loyalists have got a professional army, whereas your army is mostly made up of farmers with rakes and pitchforks. Surely you can't win. It's true, most of my men are frightened farmers who don't know a gun from a garden rake. But we've no choice. It's either the tyrannical rule of the British or revolution. Which is why I have therefore resolved to conquer or die. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, my gun don't work in. I do not know this man. Farmers against soldiers, Jamie. It's men against boys, Jeff. No, it's definitely farmers against soldiers. We've got another big battle at Saratoga in 1777. A shock win for the Buffy Patriots, Jeff. Wow! A victory like that is sure to attract some cash from abroad. They won't win the war without it. Mr Frenchman, why are you helping America? Ah, because we believe passionately in the dream of a free and independent America. That's right. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we just really hate the English. Thank you very much. Oh. Well cheap. <laughs> Woohoo, yeah! No, no, they're not French. Jamie, a bad day for the Brits. They may have lost America, but they've still got Canada, so yes. The loss of America was a real blow to George III, but back in Britain, life under his reign saw some huge changes in the way people lived. But from the doctors to the dinner table, the Georgians still behaved in some pretty strange ways. Ah, a feast fit for a king. Funny that, cos... <laughs> yes. All my favourite foods. You can't beat boiled eggs and a muffin. Hold on. We sit down in order of importance, so Papa sits down first, because he's a Viscount. Actually, I'm a Duke. I'm more important than a Viscount. Ooh, cow's heels. Delicious and cheap. You can't beat feet meat. Oh, yes. So it's the Duke, the Viscount, then me. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> then it's me. But I'm the eldest sister. Come on, everyone. Tuck in. This lemonade's my own recipe. Yes, but I'm married to an earl now, so I take precedence over you. Fine. So, it's the Duke, the Viscount, then it's my sister, then me, then you. Is it just me, or does this taste of onions? It... What? No, it is just me. All right. Feed me! But, uh, I'm an earl, and, and you're my wife, mm -hmm. so we're more important than a Viscount. <laughs> Yes, right. So, it's the Duke, the Earl, the Earl's wife, the Viscount, and then me. <laughs> A message, Your Highness. Exciting news! My second favourite cow has just had a baby cow. Uh, wait, well, why is everyone eating so fast? Sorry. Got prevention. When the king finishes eating, they take our plates away. <sighs> well, I didn't really want cow heel anyway. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <my> onion? <coughs> no, no, still bad. Still bad. Stop, they don't teach you